Well, good morning. It is a brisk mid-November morning. Uh, we are back in Virginia. I was supposed to be in Southern California for meetings that finished up yesterday, and then we were going to spend a few more days out there exploring. However, as most meetings these days, that meeting went virtual. So Sharon and I decided to head back down to Virginia. If you recall, Mike, Scott, and I were in Virginia about a month ago and did the uh, Triple Crown on the Appalachian Trail. I'll link, uh, put a link to that video up here. Uh, so we decided to head back down here and hit those from a little different angle. Mike and Kathy are joining us later today. We're staying at a nice Airbnb that's at the base of this mountain that I'm sitting on right now. So uh, we'll take you along for the adventure. Hope you enjoy it. Pretty nice view out across the valley that direction. Can't really see it that other direction because of the sun, probably, but uh, kind of see both sides on, on either side of this mountain. So I'm gonna head on up that direction and see what I can see. So I think I'm gonna head back along the ridge up here, just kind of sit down up here. Very good spot, eat some breakfast, and uh, check and make sure it's okay to take the drone up here. If it is, let me see a couple little nice. Uh, Drone shots. I don't know what we're looking at up here at the top of this mountain. where we're staying. This is WTR Stables. We're staying in that barn loft up there. Sharon is excited because she gets to uh, meet some new friends here today. Uh, they came right up to the fence for her to for her to pet and so they're wanting to chew on her hat and give her kisses and eat her zippers and those sorts of things. I did hike up to the top of that mountain up there earlier this morning. Uh, I was about three quarters of a mile up to the top some decent views up along the electric lines but yeah this is uh sharon got to w watch these guys while she was doing her bible study this morning and she couldn't help herself but come out and want to want to pet them a bit they're so. little sweeties and they want to chew on me i'm sure she'll make more friends with some of the other ones here in just a few minutes all right we're back here at dragon's tooth trailhead this time it's not completely gray outside so maybe mike and i'll get some views we got Sharon and Kathy there with us. They're probably making some weird faces in the background, or at least, <laughs> at least Mike is. So this is a day hike number one. I'm not sure which one we'll hit tomorrow, but uh, we'll see how it goes up here and hopefully see what the views are from Dragon's Tooth. You want evidence of your awesomeness. Favorite number I'll three. Do that to yeah, please. I wish Ty was here. Awkward. Um, my body doesn't fit through that. Yeah, it does. No. You got the leg first. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Ah! <laughs> I'm afraid of heights, so this is a little. Doing good.
Good job. Thanks. Yeah, that probably wouldn't have been good at night. No. Probably best yeah, if we did this like, during. <laughs> no, I I don't think I said that. This isn't the one I said we'd do at night. This is like I said we could do it headlamps. We could. That can be great. Parkour. <laughs> I got your parkour on video. So, good. so as we're on our way up to Dragon's Tooth, last time when we were here, we couldn't see any of this because this was all engulfed in clouds and fog. So looking forward to see what it looks like up at the top. So we're up on Dragon's Tooth now, it's up here at the top. Like I said last time, we really couldn't see any of this view because of all the clouds and the fog. See Sharon made it up the tooth down there. A little parkour action for her. Pretty awesome. Being born, kind of she went down underneath there. <laughs> she went down that way. All right, we are just about back to the parking lot. We finished up Dragon's Tooth. We spent a fair amount of time up there just hanging out and eating snacks, uh, taking our time coming down. Really didn't have to be in any rush. Obviously, it's just about dark. So almost back to the parking lot, really enjoyed ourselves. And uh, we're looking forward to our adventure tomorrow, which as of right now, may be Tinker Cliffs for sunset, but we shall see. All right, we are at our next destination. We are heading up the Andy Lane Trail to Tinker Cliffs. A little nervous about uh, the mileage today, but we'll see. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, it's gonna be all uphill up to the cliffs, but it'll be all downhill in the dark after that, right? Yep. And hopefully we'll catch sunset up there. So we're looking at probably in the seven mile ballpark uh, for this afternoon. It's about 1.40 or so, and so we get up there about sun a little bit before sunset, uh, take in the sunset and then uh, chillax for a few and then head back down. So that's the plan, we shall see. So we're gonna go through some pasture lands now, it looks like, as we go through some gates here. Sharon navigating it like a pro, look at that. Kind of a neat little section of trail you can see the pasture lands over here to the sides and gotta watch out for the cow patties on the trail you saw the cows back there in the stream and it's kind of a neat little area so we made it to Catawba Creek if you can see the sign there this creek is a little more substantial than the creek that was we just crossed that had the cows. So 
really pretty down through here. Nice little bridge. You can see the flowing water there. And it goes around the bend that way. So we're continuing up the Andy Lane Trail. We're a little over a mile in. There are some steep sections followed by some sections that are less steep. It is pretty much a gradual uphill once you get past the creek all the way up to the top. Uh, and then when we finish the Andy Lane Trail, it intersects with the Appalachian Trail. And then about another three quarters of a mile, according to the map, from there up to Tinker Cliffs. So we stopped here for just a little break. According to the elevation profile, Sharon is just about to go beast, beast mode because this is the steepest part of this trail <laughs> as we go up just for, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a mile, maybe not I'm even that. Run so it. Sharon's decided she's going to run it. I'm just going to run it. So hopefully you can see because of the sun here behind us. But uh, we're going to start up this, this trail here and uh, continue with this nice elevation gain. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was recording that last section, but I don't think I was. But hopefully you can see Mike uh, breathing heavy, Sharon and Kathy down there. Pretty much a whole bunch of steps come straight up the side of that mountain. So we just came through that one section of really steep steps. We had just a very brief break and now another steep section. But I think once we get past these couple little steep areas here, it mellows out just a little. We're pretty close to where it intersects with the Appalachian Trail. Kind of working our way, as you can see the trail over through there, working our way around the side of this ridge. Looks like up around the corner. Should get up there in plenty of time for sunset. Time to set and relax and get something to eat, hang out. But uh, it's really been pretty cool. I don't know if you can see the ladies down there. Walking along the ridge. We're making our way up here. All right, we have finished the Andy Lane Trail, at least the up part. We are at Scorched Earth Gap. If you recall this from the other video, if we were to go right here, this would go down to Lambert's Meadow Shelter where we stayed. So that would be down that way. We're gonna continue south on the AT and head up to Tinker Cliffs. So about eh, probably three quarters of a mile to get the rest of the way up there, so. Well, we just about made it up to Tinker Cliffs. We gotta go along this ridge and out around the corner. But uh, gain most of our elevation at this point. But now that the leaves are off, really some pretty cool views as you look out on this backside, the cliffs are on the other side of this plateau. But some really some pretty neat views out the backside too. All right, we made it up to Tinker Cliffs. We're kind of going to chillax here till sunset, getting all of our food out <laughs> and getting some snacks. This is all like our pre-appetizer appetizer before we actually go eat dinner yep. after this so Thank Sharon you. what is your evaluation of Tinker Cliffs absolutely beautiful what is your evaluation of the hike up <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to be up here okay fair At enough first, I mean it was a, it was hard but yeah. 
doable. Not impossible. Not impossible. Shorter than Malacant. Shorter than <laughs> Yeah, it was shorter than Malacant. Yeah. And this is a day hike. It is a day hike. Yeah. So that's good. So you got some nice views. It's not as windy up here as we anticipated it being. So we'll set up here till the sun goes down. And then Sharon, your then first good stuff. Mm -hmm. First adventure night hiking. Night hack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we were able to catch the sunset up here at Tinker Cliffs. We are about to hike back down. Sharon even got her headlamp on up there already. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we're going to be hiking in the dark, so this will probably be yeah. the last recording for the evening. But uh, it's really nice to actually be able to experience the sunset up here in person this time, because last time we were yeah. just on video. So we're getting ready to head back down. We are leaving Tinker Cliffs, heading down over the hill. We headed on up just a little ways. Got our headlamps out. I'm gonna wait to turn mine on for a little bit. Just to make sure we have enough battery. Should be good for just a little while, but as we get down a little further, especially from a safety standpoint, we need to put them on. So overall a success, hopefully uh, Knees, hips, and everything hold up on the way down. And uh, there's no stumbles. All right, we're continuing along. This is where we saw the cows before. Looks like there is a little uh, leash or something there. Somebody left. Not too terribly far. To get back to the car. You see a little bit of moonlight on the creek there. Sharon didn't know she was such a night hiker. She I was I love it. She loves it. Yeah this the hike down has actually been more enjoyable than the hike up. The views were really cool up at the top but the hike just from a hiking standpoint the hike down has been more pleasant. We're continuing back to the car and barring any catastrophes between now and then, <laughs> we should be good. So we're cleaning up. We've enjoyed our stay here at what WTR Stables Barn Loft at Sunny Slope Farm. Just a quick tour. This is just a little kind of kitchenette area, hot stove. Just the necessities, nothing crazy. We enjoyed our coffee, places to sit and relax over there. Uh, Sharon enjoyed her Bible study and uh, we enjoyed watching the horses when she wasn't distracted by the horses uh, out here in this area. But uh, we really enjoyed it. It's really peaceful and quiet. And um, so the bedrooms, there's one bedroom and then walks through the bathroom to the other bedroom. But yeah, we really enjoyed our stay and we'll maybe be coming back in the future if we're down this way again. But as you walk out, you may have seen some pictures here before, but this is the view out the front where we're doing the Bible study and watching the horses and just spending time. So I would highly recommend it if uh, you're in the area and if maybe you're going to hit the Virginia Triple Crown as day hikes or just to relax. Blue Ridge Parkway is getting close. But, uh, we really enjoyed it. I think you would too. All right, we're getting ready to leave Virginia. We opted not to go out to McAfee Knob this morning. We just weren't feeling that uh, almost eight mile hike today. Uh, right before we headed back. So we're getting ready to head back home. We're here in downtown Lexington, Virginia. Just uh, had a little sandwich and get some gelato here and then we'll be hitting the road. So hope you enjoyed this adventure and sharing it with us and until next time, 
get outside.